In this video, I'd like to address what is meant by a weak or strong acid and how to determine if an acid is weak or strong. Well, the answers to those two questions lies in the equilibrium constant, KEQ, or specifically for acids, KA. Here are three acids, HCl, HF, and CH3COOH. They're called, respectively, hydrogen chloride, or hydrochloric acid, hydrofluoric acid, and acetic acid. We see that the KAs for these values, these acids vary. KA for HCl approaches infinity. The KA for HF is slightly larger than that for acetic acid. Well, let's take a look at what these numbers mean in relationship to the equilibrium constant. And as far as which is the strongest acid. In the middle here, I have a, a model acid. HA dissociates into H+, plus, the acidic part of the solution, and the rest of the acid molecule, A-. Minus. And below that is the equilibrium constant for this generic acid. Products H plus and A minus over HA, the acid molecule. I just want to point out how this generic model relates to these three acids down here. Notice all three of these acids have an hydrogen that will dissociate or quote break apart from the molecule. And again this H plus, this free hydrogen ion, is the acidic, or what makes the solution acidic. So the more H plus you have floating around, the more acidic, or the stronger the acid. So let's remind ourselves about the equilibrium constant. Remember, the larger the numerator relative to the denominator, the higher the value of Ka, of the equilibrium constant, in this case particularly for the acid. So let's go back to that scenario. If you have a large number, larger number over a smaller number, the fraction value is going to be much greater than 1. If you have a smaller number over a larger number, the fraction value is going to be much less than 1. Well, if the numerator is larger, much larger than the denominator, remember, the numerator is the products. And if one of the products is the hydrogen ion, and the hydrogen ion is the measure of acidity, well, that means that the larger the numerator, the more acid, or the more hydrogen ion, the larger the equilibrium constant, therefore the stronger the acid. So out of these three acids down here, which one would you consider to be the, the strongest acid? If you chose HCl, you'd be right. This would be the strongest acid. And the weakest acid would be acetic acid, here with an equilibrium constant of 1.8 times 10 to the minus fifth. Now, granted, both of these, HF and acetic acid, are relatively weak, or weaker than HCl. But the weakest among these three acids is the acetic acid. I want to explore each of these acids a bit closer and make a relation between their Ka and the equilibrium constant expression. So let's look at HCl for a moment. If we write the dissociation for HCl as such where 
HCl breaks up into H plus and Cl minus. Think about what this means as far as the equilibrium constant being close to infinity. If H plus and Cl minus are in the numerator and HCl is in the denominator, and we're saying that this number approaches infinity, that essentially means that the concentration of HCl is pretty much close to zero. Because remember, any number over zero approaches infinity. So that means when the reaction is complete, there's essentially none of this left. And what's floating around essentially is all H plus and chloride minus. So for strong acids, where the equilibrium constant is pretty much non-definable or infinity, typically their chemical reaction is written with just one um, arrow in the forward direction. Now let's also take a look at the weak acid, HF. HF, like HCl and other acids, will dissociate, and when acids dissociate, they release a H plus or a hydrogen ion and the rest of the acid. Now, unlike HCl, HF will say partially dissociates. In other words, there's going to be a large amount of HF molecule remaining when the system reaches equilibrium. So when the equilibrium constant is written, we need to appreciate that the numerator, the products, is smaller than the amount of reactant, or what is in the denominator. So, if this denominator, or the concentration of HF, is large once the system reaches e equilibrium, that forces the value of this fraction, or the equilibrium constant, to be much less than 1. And in particular, it is 0 0.00068. So more specifically for this, weak acid, the equilibrium constant is 0 0.0068. And similarly is the case for acetic acid, where the equilibrium constant is 1.8 times 10 to the minus fifth. This simply means that there's a large amount of the acid molecule remaining when equilibrium is established and a very small or smaller amounts of product. And it's important to remember that the amount of free H plus floating around is the measure of acidity. So even if there's a large concentration of acid, if that acid does not dissociate very much, it will not produce a lot of H plus floating around. Therefore, it is considered a weak acid, unlike the strong acid, HCl, where the acid molecule dissociates entirely. It produces a lot of H plus.